Work continues today in clearing out the Port of Baltimore after Tuesday's collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Seven floating cranes are on site, including one with the capacity to lift a thousand tons. Workers are measuring and cutting steel to prepare to have sections lifted. This morning, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg said on Face the Nation that federal dollars are expected to pay for 80 to 90 percent of the work. Already, the Biden administration approved 60 million, but the effort will likely require more. Now, it is possible we may need to turn to Congress to uh, supplement that fund. That has happened in the past. If you remember the 2007 bridge collapse in Minnesota, ultimately about $260 million uh, put together, uh, including funds that were uh, put through Congress on a bipartisan basis. And I hope and expect this, too, will be a bipartisan priority. Each part of the bridge will be lifted onto a barge and floated downstream to a logistics center where it will be inspected.